What's going on guys and gals, DGBTM here bringing you guys a brand new video today. We're going to be unboxing the GoPro Hero 4 Black. I just got this. I'm really excited. I've been wanting to get a GoPro for a long time um, just to kind of do YouTube videos. I also have another package here. I'm going to flip that over. I have another package here which are some batteries we'll kind of review too. Um, this isn't really much of a review, just kind of an unboxing. You guys know how I love to do them and you guys really seem to enjoy them. So Hero 4 Black, um, the reason why I went with this, 4K at 30 frames per second. I'm huge, huge on freaking uh quality um i think you can do 120 frames per second on 1080p which is really cool that'd be cool for some slow motion stuff uh 12 megapixel burst i don't really care about that because i have a camera um that's kind of the settings on it uh it's got protune super view all the normal stuff that you would kind of find on a normal gopro um i've never had a gopro before so i'm really excited to kind of test it out um it shows you all the different frames per second you can do um again i have no idea i haven't really had a chance to play with one i've never like held one i don't know i have the air um but i know that they shoot really good we're actually going on a trip um which is going to be perfect for this um we're going to universal so we're actually going to take this with us i got a bunch of mounts um that came in the other day um so the there's lots of stuff. Um, I don't know what this includes. I've kind of opened, like, I've seen openings and unboxings for them before, but we're going to kind of test them and see what it looks like right here. So there are some little tabs on the side that you just got to pull off really quick. Um, I pulled those off just for time's sake. makes it a little bit easier. Um, this is what it looks like. Super simple. Um, got a nice plastic hosing on top. Um, so we're going to quickly open this up. So every review I've read on this and every, not review, but every unboxing I've seen on this, it's just to keep a certain part. So this is the GoPro right here. So super simple. They're all really easy to use. It does come with like this kind of standard waterproof housing. Um, it's not a dive housing or anything like that, but it makes it a lot easier. I think I don't have to do that actually. If I'm right, you remove this tab. How do I remove this tab? Can I just pull it off? Sorry guys, we're gonna quickly do this. I don't really have a mount, so. Oh, my sweet Lanta, eh? Okay, we're gonna try and, oh my gosh. We're just gonna unscrew this quick. Shaky unboxings. I don't have like a good camera yet, so this is kind of gonna be our camera for vlogs and all that stuff. Um, everything I've heard on them is they're awesome for them. Um, but I've seen people that have them and then don't use them. I don't understand it. I don't, I don't get it. Um, so little thumb screws, they come with everything. They're good for everything. All right. So let's pull off. That's the housing right there. That's the GoPro. This thing is actually really light. I really wasn't sure of how heavy these things are, but super light, super easy to use. Uh, they just have little quick clips. You just kind of pull them off if I can pull it off. Okay, anyways, we're just going to move past that. Everybody I've heard says to take this thing off. Um, as far as I know, it just kind of pops right off. We'll do that. But there's a black metal plastic piece here. Um, take that off because apparently you can use it for mounting on different things. Throw on a 3M piece. Um, and you can mount it as like a just a stand mount, which would be really cool. Um, you can mount it on pretty much anything. Mount it on a wall. Um, these are universal mounts with all of their GoPros, so you don't really have to worry about getting different mounts. So in the box, uh, it's getting started, normal stuff. You've got your all your instruction books, and that is a big instruction book. you got your getting started with GoPro, which I'm assuming is just a really basic overview. Then you have a quick start guide, which is, I'm guessing, a more in-depth review. Uh, you got a bunch of GoPro with stickers. you got three of them, uh, all the same sticker. Product and safety information, we don't need that. And Important product information, so warranty, disclaimers, um, probably I'm guessing a one-year manufacturer's warranty. All right, let's open this up. Probably should have used like one of the mounts that I have for the GoPro for this. It's really hard to unbox up with one hand. All right, so just folds open. Like I said, I've never had a GoPro, so this is a brand new experience for me. So in the box, we're just gonna pop all that out. Makes it a lot easier. Uh, you do have this kind of, oh geez, we're making noise. Uh, this is a, you, it's a back door that you can switch out with the back door on this, but the back door for this one actually is used for the LCD backpack if you do have it. It is 
clear. Like as you can tell, there's nothing in there. You can just go right through it, uh, which is perfectly fine by me. Uh, it comes with a three-way adjustable hook, I believe. Two-way adjustable, two-way adjustable hook, um, which you can kind of. It's just a replaceable thing. that you can mount in different ways. Um, it comes with a standard J buckle. Uh, the J buckle. I've I've done a lot of review on this um, and looking and preparedness. Uh, the J buckle is nice because you can actually move it depending on how you want to go. It gives you a little bit of an extra height. That's the battery. Holy crap! That's a tiny battery. It does come with a little tab here. Um, that tab is designed so it's easier to pull out, um, which makes it really nice. Standard USB micro cable, not mini, actually it's the, oh sorry, mini, not micro. I apologize. It does come with some standard 3M mounts. Uh, this clip right here, this little plastic piece, let's get that out. So yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, I'm really hoping to use this as like an everyday kind of camera for vlogging and all that stuff. Um, everything I've heard is really good reviews on it, but I tend to find people have one and then have like another camera that they use, which really astounds me. I don't get why you would have so many different cameras. So this piece right here, uh, if you do take it out, um, keep this piece because I've heard that this piece is like a stability type piece. Ooh, whoa, sorry, the mount that I have is absolutely terrible for my phone. That's the, that's what I'm recording on right now. So this piece, if you look, where I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find an easy mount for this to use. So if you look on the back of your quick clips, there's a little, let's see if I can focus in on this here. Come on, focus. There's this little piece in here. It's a little black clip piece. It's really kind of hard because it's so shiny. All you gotta do is kind of just stuff it in there There we go. You just kind of stuff it in there just like that. It sits right on the edge. Um, and that's actually like a stability thing. Um, don't know how, how good that actually works, but pretty easy to kind of take out. Um, they tell you to kind of put this into the housing, I believe. Like that, I think, something to kind of clip it on. I'm not too sure. I'm going to have to figure that one out. But that's all that's in the box. There's nothing else that's in there. Um, like I said, make sure you guys do take off that black mount because uh, apparently you can use it for tons of different things. So the GoPro itself um, comes in this standard little housing. This is the standard waterproof housing. Like I said, this comes with all GoPros. I don't even know how to open this thing. <laughs> okay, so pull the top clip, not the back clip, because that was what I was trying to do. And it just simply pops open. It should just pop open. It's this is really hard to do with one hand. I should have grabbed a mount. That would have been a good idea. Come on, DJ. All right, we're going to hold it like that. There we go. It's kind of suctioned in there a bit. but So that's the GoPro itself. I'm probably never going to use it as a naked camera just because I'm really terrified to scratch the lens and all that stuff. Um, maybe I'll just put a lens protector on there. Super simple to open up as far as I know. You just kind of hold it, pull it down. There's a little button that you just pull it, and there you go. That's where you put the battery in. Um, the record button on top, you got the mode button up right there. Little LCD screen to show you exactly what it is. No touch screen on the black edition. Um, it does have a spot for the touch screen if you do want to add one in, but the silver edition does come with it. But the silver edition also has lower specs. Um, I think it shoots 14, 4K at five frames per second is where this does 30 frames per second. Um, not much of a difference to be honest. Um, so that's your battery pack. Um, I did go with a higher amp batteries. Um, the ones that we did also get, we're gonna actually, we reach into our case here. These are the batteries that I picked up. Um, they're designed as just external batteries for them. Exact same size, um, but the ampage on these ones is 1650 milliamps, or the ampage on these ones is 1160. Um, everything I've heard with the GoPro standard, like official batteries, is they do about two to four hours, two hours for 2K recording, four hours for 1080p recording. Um, as with us going on a trip, I don't wanna be stuck at Universal all day and be like, man, I can't record all this stuff. So we have five batteries. I bought the single battery and then I bought four of these extended batteries. Um, shake it. So you see four extended batteries um, and then this triple charge. 
All right, how to splice the videos together. Apparently I went too long, but um, this is the triple charger for them. Um, you just, it's a triple bay charger, super simple. I'm assuming you just plug it into the wall and it'll start charging three batteries at any time. I don't think it has a USB on it, no. Yeah, so you just plug in your batteries and you're set to go, you can start charging them. You should be able to charge all the batteries, not just the Go, not just those ones. Uh, you should be able to use the standard GoPro. Um, but that's all guys, that's kind of what we got for the GoPro. I'm really excited to do some tests on it. Um, this is the standard housing, like I said. I am gonna get a filter for it because um, I really wanna make sure that we have the best quality on there. Uh, polarized lenses, from what I've heard, are the best to use. Um, so we're gonna grab some polarized lenses, um, maybe some red lenses, you know, the standard stuff. But thank you guys for tuning in. That's the GoPro guys, I'm really excited super super small i'm really happy with this thing i really haven't been i'm really not sure exactly how to use it fully yet um so we're gonna have to kind of walk through and go through it like i said there is the usb on the side right here sorry i thought i was on the camera whoops and there we dropped a little black piece so your micro sd card goes in there um and then that's your mini hdmi and then you also have your mini usb port so that's all for today, guys. Really hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Let me know if you guys have any questions at all. Uh, apparently, my flash is turned off for some stupid reason. But we're going to finish the video off there, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. This has been your friendly neighbor, GGBTM, with the GoPro Black Hero 4 Edition unboxing. I'm really excited to bring you guys some new content with this. That's all for today. Like I said, leave a like, hit that comment, button, subscribe to the channel. This has been your friendly neighbor, GGBTM. Thank you guys for tuning in. See you guys all back tomorrow. Bye-bye now.